Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new or you just haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button. So today's video is all about how I went about setting up my bullet journal for the month of August in 2021. So this month's theme is basically a fruity theme. I know I've done a fruity theme in the past that was just watermelons, however. So I really wanted to see what things would look like if I went off and branched into different kinds of fruit so this is sort of like an assorted citrus fruit theme with like grapefruit lime lemons and oranges so to get the look that i wanted i really wanted to use watercolors in this bullet journal theme but i did not want to put those directly onto my bullet journal pages because the pages were a lot thinner in my bullet journal so what i did was i painted using these watercolors on a separate piece of sketchbook paper so when all of those circles those watercolor circles dried up I went in with my bolder and brighter markers to add any details and decorations on those watercolor circles that I wanted and all I had to do was cut them out using my scissors just cut out the actual circles themselves and when I wanted to finally use them throughout my bullet journal spread all I had to do was of course make sure that it is properly cut out and then simply paste it into my bullet journal spread using regular school glue. Also please be careful because I ended up cutting my finger so just be careful as you guys cut these little pieces out. So once everything was cut out properly, I decided to go in with the cover spread first and in order to get the look I wanted because I wanted both a mix of large and smaller citrus fruits and I wanted a lot of those to sort of go off of the edge of the page, I decided to use my pencil to trace out the edge of the paper, especially in the corner, onto the back of that citrus fruit decoration that way I could just use my scissors to cut it out and it would fit perfectly onto that specific part of the paper this was really helpful for getting as clean a look as possible so there was this one large piece I guess sort of like a large lime shape that I had to do sort of a two-step process. First, I had to fit it so it would fit on the edge of the page. And then I wanted it to go across both pages because this is like a double spread. Um, so all I had to do was sort of fold it along the fold of the pages in my bullet journal. And then I used my scissors to cut down um, the middle or that crease line. And then all I had to do was now take my school glue and just glue it into my bullet journal in the exact arrangement that I wanted it to be in. So here comes a fun part and this is where I just go in with my markers. I believe I used five colors and I used a mix of both Crayola Super Tip colors and then also some of my Tombos from the Bright palette I believe. So this was just really fun and also I thought that there was like a bit of too much white space so I decided to go in with a couple of smaller circles and I'm so glad that I did that because I feel like it really helped to fill up a lot of extra space that was on the page so that just helped to make everything come together a lot better and you'll see later on in the video that I continue to use these smaller circles with my markers and I continue to put them throughout all of my other spreads. After I put things down with my markers, I of course went in with a gel pen, which is something that I do now for a lot of my bullet journal spreads, regardless of the theme. 
that I go in with my gel pen last, especially because gel pens tend to take a long time to dry up. But I really wanted to get this sort of, I guess, bubble letter look. So what happened was I sort of traced over the lines made with my markers, except it was sort of off or shifted in a way. And this gave all of my lettering here sort of a fun look. And I felt that it just looked really good with the rest of the spread. So if you guys can remember the leftover piece from that large lime shape that I glued into my cover spread, well I took that same shape and I lined it up with the top edge of one of the pages of my monthly spread and I glued that in and also gave it a little grapefruit slice to accompany it. So also I decided to go up the left hand edge of my left page of the monthly spread and just wrote out August. 21 so I really like that look I know that I did that in my January bullet journal setup and I feel like it's just a really nice way to occupy the margins I guess so I also wanted to switch things up a bit and I added a couple of colored rectangles into the monthly spread as well and then I went in with smaller square like shapes so that there could be a couple of pops of color and I also alternated these colors throughout just so everything here matched all the colors of my theme. So additionally I decided to put in a main events and a notes section at the top and the bottom of my right page. This was mainly because I saw that there was a lot of blank space so I wanted to fill that in, just my preference. And then I went in for the headers for each day of the week, just the quick abbreviations. And I did this sort of in a mixture of uppercase and lowercase. You'll see that sort of mix throughout the August spreads. So once I finished my monthly spread, I flipped the page and I got started on my mood tracker spread. So I just went in with different colored markers and I wrote out in that bubbly letter style the word mood right there in the center of the page. Then I used my gel pen to essentially draw out different sized circles all over the page. And of course at the bottom I had to include my mood tracker key this is just so i can figure out what color corresponds to what mood this time i went with a five color mood tracker rather than the typical three colors so i just went in with my gel pen numbered all of the different circles for each day of the month and i finished off that bubble letter look and then i once again used my gel pen to write out in normal lettering the word tracker right underneath the word mood so following my mood tracker i of course had to do a habit tracker this is one thing that i always do i always do a mood tracker and then a habit tracker sometimes the order is different but this time I did my habit tracker after my mood tracker so right here on the edge I put a couple more citrus fruit decorations just lined them up with the edge like I did for all the other spreads and in different colors and a mix of lowercase and uppercase I wrote the words habit tracker this habit tracker is very similar to what I did once again for my January bullet journal setup for 2021. So I just drew nine really long rectangles that were 31 boxes long and just one box wide and they were spaced out from each other by one box each and down the side I just numbered it from 1 to 31. And I left a bit of space at the very top so I could have enough room to write down the individual names of each habit it was that I wanted to track for the month of August.
And of course, I had to go back in over the bubble letters with my gel pen and of course finish off that bubble letter look by just drawing over and slightly shifting the shapes of each letter just so it had that fun look that I also got on basically all the other spreads just so everything just looks really nice together and everything flows together and then of course I went in with all of the different colored markers that I used just to add those circle details that I showed you guys that I put on my cover spread. So following my mood and habit trackers, once those were completed, I moved on to the next two pages, which will actually be a two page spread. So it will be one spread that essentially spans the width of two whole pages. This is also a newer type of spread or tracker, I guess you could say. I haven't really done this one too much, but I did do it back in my December 2020 bullet journal setup, so you guys should definitely go and check out that one. I did do a one page version. This is a positivity and gratitude tracker, but the one page version I felt was kind of limiting in the fact that it was kind of limiting in terms of space so it meant that I had to cram a lot of what I wanted to say into one small little box that was like half the page so I decided to make my positivity and gratitude tracker for August span the width of two pages instead of just one so that way I'd have a lot more space to write what it is that I want to talk about so I just love this kind of a spread because, you know, it really helps you to focus on the positive things in life and just things that you may or may not be like taking for granted. So it's just something that's really great to have, something great to also look back on, on days that you may be feeling a little challenged. You can always look back on a positivity or gratitude tracker and see all the great things that are present to you in your day to day life. So to finish off the look for my gratitude and positivity tracker, I also didn't want there to be too much going on on the page aside from what it was that I wanted to talk about for each day. But what I did do was I went up and down the side margins, like the far left and the far right of the two pages, and I wrote gratitude and the plus sign. And then I went to the right page and on the far right, I wrote the word positivity. So it'll just read gratitude and positivity. Once again, I did it in that colorful bubble letter style. And I of course went in with my gel pen to number each line for each day in the month. And then I also used my gel pen once more to finish off the bubble letter look. So with it being August once more this year, I really wanted to bring back this one spread that I had last year in August. I don't know if you all saw it or not. You guys should definitely go check out my other August bullet journal setup 
both for 2020 and also even 2019 but in 2020's setup i did make a welcome week spread and welcome week is essentially something that happens at my school it's essentially the week before school actually starts and it's just a great way to say welcome back to the school year and it's filled with all sorts of activities and just a lot of prepping and planning for the school year that is to come so a lot of things typically happen and with me being a lot more involved in school related activities and clubs and stuff i decided to make this spread just to help me keep track of all the important things that I need to get done for that week just so that I can come into the school year feeling ready to go. So I just did a simple spread up and down the middle halves of both pages and I just wrote the word welcome in that lovely bubble letter style that we've been seeing all throughout all of my spreads and I ended it with a couple of citrus fruit slices in the corners and at the very edge of the page and also wrote the word week underneath. So after I finished my welcome week spread, I moved on to the final spread it is that I am going to show you guys today. And this is just my actual weekly spread. This is essentially just going to be something very similar to my welcome week spread setup. It's just about the same except up the left hand side I wrote August and then put the dates for the week underneath which this one was for the second to the eighth I believe and I just decorated it with a lot of other colorful circles and up the right hand side I actually just made a quick notes and events section so pretty similar to the welcome week setup except no citrus fruit and also the boxes were a bit longer, I believe, or actually shorter. All right, so that brings us to the very end of this whole bullet journal setup for the month of August in 2021. I have to admit this has got to have been one of the most fun bullet journal setups that I have created and I know I get that feeling with every bullet journal setup that I create but this one was just so bright and so colorful and just so much fun to make and film. I just really enjoyed it. It was just really relaxing putting this together and I feel that it had a great vibe that really fit in with August and you know the new fresh start to the school year. So I hope this video gave you guys some great inspiration and ideas for your own bullet journal spreads. Definitely check out the other spreads and setups that I have available on my channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see all of you guys next time in my next video. Bye!